In this video lesson, we will solve two commonly asked test questions about quadratic functions. This is kind of a broad summary of a lot of the topics covered in quadratic functions. So this first question will be, you're given this graph. Uh, your job is to match this parabola to one of the functions below it. There are four answer choices, A, B, C, and D. So in this sort of test question, the best strategy is the process of elimination. The first thing we notice about this parabola is that it's faces, it opens downwards. We know that parabolas are, exist of two types, those that open up and those that open down. And this one opens down. Now what sort of useful information does that give us about the formula? It tells us that the coefficient of the x squared term has to be negative. This eliminates answer options A and B, leaving us us with only C and D. So I'm highlighting. If it opens down, then the coefficient of the x squared term has to be negative. So now that we're down to two choices, we just have to eliminate one of them, and then we'll have the answer. So here I'm rewriting larger the two options left. y equals negative x squared plus x plus 2. y equals negative 2x squared plus 2x plus 4. So the next thing to check after the direction of the parabola, if it opens up or down, is the y-intercept, which is also pretty easy to check, both on the graph and in the formula. In these two functions, we have the y-intercepts 2 and 4. That is, the point 0, 2, the point 0, 4. These lie respectively on the functions of c and d. What I mean is that if we plug in x equals 0, let's say into this function for our answer choice c, we plug in x equals 0 and we just get y equals 2. So we get the point 0, 2. And similarly for answer choice D, you'll get the point 0, 4. So if we graph these points on the coordinate plane, we see that 0, 4 lies on the parabola while 0, 2 does not lie on the parabola. That means that the parabola would have to be answer choice D. So now we have the correct answer. Correct answer is answer choice D. So the strategy here is to eliminate a few answers, and then once you only have a few left, there are ways of figuring out which one of those few has to be the, the correct answer. Now we're going to do sort of the reverse problem. You're given the formula, the function, y equals negative x squared plus 2. And there are four graphs. Which one of these graphs is the parabola of y equals negative x squared plus 2? So again, we're going to start with, does the graph of this function, does it open up or does it open down? Now the x squared term has a negative coefficient. So that means that this parabola, whichever one is the correct answer, must open down. That eliminates A and D as possible answers. We are left with only B and C. So how do we determine which one of B or C is the right answer?
Well, we can do the same thing with the y-intercepts. That is, what is the y-intercept of the function given? y equals negative x squared plus 2. y-intercept, if we plug in x equals 0, we'll just get 2. y equals 2. So this point 0, 2 must lie on the graph of this parabola, of this function. And here I've marked 0, 2 on both of these graphs. But look, it's not on the parabola on answer choice B, and it is on answer choice C. So answer choice C is the correct answer. This way, using the process of elimination and a few basic facts about quadratic functions, we were able to answer two pretty commonly asked test questions. I hope this video lecture has helped you. Thank you for watching.